Egyptian fighter jets take off on a mission to bomb Islamic State targets in Libya. The move comes hours after Libyan jihadists pledging loyalty to IS released a video apparently showing the beheading of a group of 21 Egyptian Coptic Christians. The men were forced to the ground and decapitated. State TV said the warplanes targeted weapons caches and training camps. It was a move to avenge the bloodshed and seek retribution, Egypt said. Egypt reserves the right to respond at the proper time and in the appropriate style in retaliation for those inhumane criminal killers. And I've called for the National Defence Council to convene to follow up on the development of this issue. In the video, hostages are referred to as crusaders. This is not the first time Coptic Christians have been singled out for attacks. The largest Christian community in the Middle East, Coptic Christians make up an estimated 10% of Egypt's population. The General Bishop of the Coptic Orthodox Church in the UK spoke of his reaction to this latest brutal attack. The fact that IS members were killed by airstrikes doesn't give me joy. It doesn't give me comfort because I would be hypocritical. If I am saying that they should be looking at every life as sacred, then so must I. We have lived peacefully, lovingly. We have been forgiving. We have been gracious. Egyptians in Egypt lived through 48 hours, 18 months ago, when 50 churches and 50 places of worship were attacked simultaneously. And there was not a single act of retaliation. I have a huge concern for the vast majority of Muslims who have to wake up in the morning, switch their televisions on and look at things like this and be blamed for them.